Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Denton. And I'm Dr. Ko. We're both dentists, and we've made a series of short videos where we explain basic dental concepts and procedures, hopefully doing so in a simple and straightforward manner. We love tea. Even though we spend nearly every day working inside a tiny space filled with other people's saliva and plaque, we love turning this into this. Through browsing the internet, I seem to always stumble upon videos and ads with names like Dentists hate this video and learn the simple trick dentists don't want you to know. And of course I'm intrigued. I want to know what it is that I hate so much. So I'm watching one of these videos and there's this guy who claims that we've had it all backwards for years. He says sugar actually kills bacteria instead of feeding it. So you should chug Mountain Dew and eat donuts to prevent cavities? I guess so. In this next video we have a person saying that she cured her daughter's cavity by not brushing her teeth feeding her liver and beef broth. So do I hate these videos? No, not really. I mean, sure it would be great to have my student loans paid off quicker if all my patients flossed with Twizzlers, but my profession is actually about helping people, not hurting them. In other words, as dentists, we want you to have the best and healthiest smile possible. We're going to take a few minutes to explain tooth decay, what can be done to prevent it, and what's done once it has occurred. This is a tooth. It's kept alive by the pulp which contains the nerve. This structure is protected by two layers, dentin and enamel. If these protective layers are compromised by either a cavity or accidentally chipping it, bacteria can enter and eventually kill the nerve. Getting a cavity is all about the acids in your mouth. Enamel is worn away by acids. For example, if you have gastric reflux or throw up a lot, enamel gets worn away by stomach acid. If you suck on lemons or drink soda all day long, same thing. Bacteria also have a major role in this because certain types of bacteria in your mouth produce acids as a byproduct of what they eat, and what they eat is sugar. Yeah, it's pretty simple. As you eat sugar, free-loaded bacteria in your mouth feast. They love this stuff. And when the party's over, they secrete acid as a waste product. Acid wears down your teeth, and eventually, you get a cavity. Now there's these crazy rumors going around that you can cure a cavity after it's started. That's mostly bogus, but there's a little bit of truth to it. In the very earliest stages of a cavity, the enamel is simply weakened, but a hole hasn't formed yet. At this point, there's still hope. That enamel can get back to being as hard as it was originally. This can happen only as the minerals in your saliva, together with fluoride from toothpaste and other sources, combine to restructure the weak enamel. It's called remineralization, and it's magic. Yeah, remember this only works if the cavity is so small that there isn't a hole yet. And of course, you need to be awesome at brushing and flossing while avoiding the super acidic drinks and too much sugar. Or you could avoid all those annoying hygiene habits and just drink beef broth. What? Just kidding. Now let's talk about your tooth once it has a hole or cavity in it. Once that's happened, food and plaque get trapped in the hole and fester, and the cavity gets bigger and bigger. Forget about fixing that with fluoride or any other type of home remedy. It needs to be fixed in the dental office. There are different ways to fix a cavity depending on how big it is. For the small stuff, we use either silver or tooth colored fillings. If most of the tooth is broken off or decayed, we might use a crown, also known as a cap, which covers and protects the entire tooth. If the cavity is so deep it reaches the nerve, then you're going to need a root canal. If you want to learn more about these procedures individually, we've made several short videos to explain them. Ben Franklin once said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and that can apply to dentistry. So avoid the really sugary and acidic foods and drinks. Floss, for goodness sakes. Brush at least twice a day using the correct end of the toothbrush. And of course, stop by and see us every six months. We've got plenty of three-year-old magazines for you to read, and if you're extra good, you might just get a prize from the treasure chest when you're done. Thanks for watching.